11,000 subscribers. Hi everybody, this is Sam with Python Basics. And as you can see with the title of the video, I uh, just kind of wanted to take a second and just say thank you. I really cannot believe. Uh, oh, and stay tuned uh, for a little bit. We're going to have a little bit of a question puzzle ran across this over the weekend. So I want to want to let you guys look at it and really bring it in. And I'll actually make a post about it so you can copy the the code and then we'll look at it next week. So, all right, back to here. So thank you, everybody. I am just absolutely blown away. Let's see if we can pull this up. So here's the full, um, yeah, you guys can see that. Here's the full lifetime of this, which is actually um, coming up, oh my goodness, in just uh, a week or so, which I keep forgetting that it is in March. But this is the whole entire path that has gone over this entire channel. And I know in the whole scheme of things that 11,000 subscribers is not a lot in the YouTube world, but I want you to know that it's a lot to me. Um, like uh, one of my sons says that I've probably never met a thousand people, or excuse me, 11,000 people in my life yet. And I, I'm like, that's an interesting point. Or he always likes to say, if uh, to have 11,000 people people standing, standing behind me and watching the uh, videos that I'm making. So that kind of puts it in perspective. So this is a huge number to me. So I just want to say thank you. All right. Now on to the question that we will be addressing next week. And I'll put this in a post so you guys can copy it. So I was poking around. I uh, had a little bit of time and I saw this on one of the message boards. Can't quite remember where I saw it. And it was a test question, I believe. And the person didn't understand why the output was outputting what it was. So I want you to look at this, see that we have, uh, takes in two arguments, manipulates one one way, manipulates one another, then has a variable here, variable here, and then runs the function and then prints out the variables again. So this is can be a little complicated, but if you really truly think about the order of operations of how Python operates, and if you really understand what it is, and we'll go in, into more depth in next week's video. So I just wanted to throw this out. I thought this was a very, very good question to understand the, the actual functionality, because I know I speak I speak to problem solving in human brain and Python brain. Well, now this is actually an operation of Python. So I think this, this is a true programming learning. This, I want, I actually wanted to take a second here and differentiate. This is how the programming language works. So when you're wanting to learn programming, this question is why is this programming language behaving this way? This is a pure programming language question. Now, all, most of the problems we deal with are logic, problem solving, a little bit of programming, but basically how would you how would you set set forth a set of instructions? This this question is why is this behaving? Why is Python behaving this way and why am I getting the output? So I thought this would be a great way to kind of merge these two um, and make a video about this. So there we go, guys. But as always, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for being a subscriber. Thank you for being a viewer. If you have not subscribed, make sure you're hitting that subscribe button and the notification bell. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned, and we'll see you next time. Bye, guys. Hey, guys. Thanks for joining us today. I hope you really enjoyed today's video. And if you haven't, check out this video right here or this one right down here. And most important, make sure you're hitting this subscribe button and the notification bell. Thanks again for joining us, and we hope to see you next time. Bye, guys.